<laughs> okay, and your name? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Doug Winters. Okay, Doug. And uh, actually, um, uh, so that people know that I ran into you because uh, we were trying to help each other out, and, and you had a fascinating story about how you were looking for um, uh, work at business at home kind of deals, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, because uh, being over the age of uh, 22... <laughs> That was three, four years ago. Yeah, exactly. Well, my business not being what it was. Uh, what were you doing before? A uh, full-time musician. No kidding. Started out and as a classical musician, realized I wasn't going to be Leonard Bernstein or Arthur Rubenstein. Um, I became a school teacher, which I enjoyed. Um, but then I had a couple of uh, really cool opportunities. Um, I got to be the musical director of the Playboy Club in New York, which was wow. really cool. And I was writing jingles for television. and Wow. And, um, yeah, and I started my own company. I was uh, the um, protege of this uh, jazz pianist and arranger named Bob James in the hmm. late or early 80s. And... Um, so I had my roadmap laid out for myself, um, and at the exact same same time that I became like a really good orchestrator, like I could read, like he taught me, and so that the two of us could literally read entire scores of Stravinsky or Mozart or you know Chopin, um, King synthesizers. And the synthesizers took over everything, so there was no need for arrangers with strings and brass sections and, and, you know, as a matter of fact, they, they don't even use, you know, real horns anymore, you know, everything. Really? Uh, it's all synthesized, I mean? Yeah, so it's sort of like I became like, you know, a printer, you know, at the same time as everybody could go to, you know, Cop uh, USA, yeah. buy a printer for $69. And, <laughs> um, so, uh, I sort of like, Miss my opportunity, which is kind of the story of my life. You know, I get these great opportunities, and then uh, by the time it's time to cash them in, um, I just sort of missed, missed the boat. I was doing quite well. Then I started my own music company where we played for uh, weddings and um, corporate parties. And then the corporate parties dropped out completely when people, about five, six years ago, when everybody started firing yeah. lawyers and, you know, people who thought they were untouchable. And um, without getting into a whole political thing, <laughs> I just read that all the people that just got bailed out, like, you know, AIG and all these oh, things, God, just like, yes. printed, like, a, you know, $16 billion, you know, assets for one quarter, you know, so it's like... Forgetting about that, you know. So, um, little by little, without going into incredible detail, uh, the market for a high-priced item. Um, well, picture me in a uh, George Armani <laughs> tux. But, you know, tuxedo, normally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I, you know, normally wear on Saturday nights, you know, to, to play at weddings, and, and and that was running incredibly well. Um, and the bottom dropped out of that market where people couldn't spend ten thousand dollars on a band and would rather mm -hmm. spend two thousand dollars on a on a DJ. So uh, I looked to the internet to see if you know how I could get either a grant from someone like yourself or uh, uh, somehow I could you know pad my income online mm -hmm. and. Uh, what I didn't realize was that I was opening a Pandora's box. Uh -huh. um, so uh, what happens is anyone, this, this is a cautionary tale for anybody who thinks that they're going to be making extra money online um, by uh, answering one of these ads that say, would you like to earn extra money online? Right. Um, because it's like a whole another world. Like if I asked you if you, if you ever heard of you know ClickBank or uh, you know niche marketing or um, um, 
um, building a list or backlinks. Mm -hmm. and oh, at least 15. Really? At least 15. And what they do is, they once you, there's something called an opt-in. Right. Okay, and what that means is that all you're doing is put your name in. You know, I'll put in you know, math, you know Matthew, and then Matthew Lesko at gmail dot com. Let's just say you know, right? Um, and you automate. Then you're opened up to this presentation. You know, right. so someone you know gives you a presentation about how you're going to become an, a millionaire overnight, and. Um, but by opting in, you're not doing anything bad. What you, all you're doing is you're putting yourself onto someone else's list, uh -huh. which means that uh, these internet marketers share the list with each other. So in other words, and they buy lists from each other. Right, exactly. Now, that that by itself is no big deal. All you have to do is just, like, you know, don't open their emails. Right. You know? But what they do is uh, someone else buys the list. So someone, some other name that you don't recognize, uh, you know, so you open it up, and there's the exact same thing. And to tell you the truth, I actually find it, I found it really fascinating. Uh -huh. uh, how they would try and get you. Like, one guy actually had, no joke, he had a stripper from a <laughs> Vegas strip place, you know, that, that was like a hooker, uh -huh. and doing lap dances and all that kind of stuff. And, and um, she was obviously reading from a script, because she was mispronouncing names and stuff like that, <laughs> and it was just hysterical. It was just, it was like, and I just watched it throughout the whole thing because this is a video on the web. So someone seriously paid money, you know, for it was like a three camera shoot. I mean, so uh -huh. someone paid money to do this, and realizing that you know, who doesn't want to watch you know a girl in a really short skirt? Right. And she's selling this. Business opportunity selling this product, You're right? <laughs> and, and it's just unbelievable. To, with the, and one thing I noticed is that so what they're called is affiliates, yes, or super affiliates. Right. And what you're supposed to do the whole the whole concept behind this entire industry. Now, mind you, if you ask your friends or if I ask my friends, no, just normal people, right? All right. Um, college educated, not college educated, it's like, you know, have you ever heard of internet marketing? They'll say, no. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. So basically, the whole thing is a scam where you, they want you to become one of the scammers with them uh, to, to scam other, to scam the next person. Um, and so, my favorite thing is this. They'll start out each with a different presentation. One, one very cool presentation, aside from the hooker one, which just cracked me up, is that there's one with a television screen. I think it's for something called Commission Crusher. <laughs> and uh, it starts out with this guy that says, I don't know how you found this page, but if you're lucky enough to have found the page, um, uh, I don't even want you here. You know, so it's, it's sort of like he made you feel like if you were there, you can be you were you're damn lucky to be there. You know, <laughs> and then so what? So so what happens is all right. So you say okay, let me play this out. Let's see. Let's see what this guy has to say. Right. So you you and it says okay for forty nine dollars you can become a millionaire. Okay. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. So, right. So you hit the forty nine dollars. So you so you say, nah, I don't want to do it. And you and you try and get out. Right? Uh, you press no, thank you. It come it somehow fi figures out a way to say, wait a minute, we're gonna give you a ten dollars off. Ah. Uh, so now it'll only be thirty nine dollars I see. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Go to get off? It'll go to twenty nine dollars, <laughs> um, and so you say, "All right, for twenty nine dollars, I'll give it a whirl." Right? So you buy it, 
you go to something called PayPal, right? right. Which is not which everybody, people have heard of. You know, right. you can pay your Con Ed bill on that if you want. I mean, it's legitimate. And they start with what they call upsells. Okay. Uh huh. And they'll say, okay, so you bought into the situation. Uh, you bought into our, our system. They call it a right. system. And um, they say, but to really make it work, you should really go to our, you know, um, our higher level. You know, I, they'll use different words like the elite program. All right, exactly. You're a special guy. <laughs> exactly, but it's another hundred and seventy-nine dollars. Ah, surprise! Right, and then for for private mentoring. Ah. Which means that some lame guy in right. your office calls you three times and gives you a quote unquote coaching session. That could be another two hundred dollars. So now ah. you're into this guy for four hundred and twenty nine dollars, and you still haven't done a thing. Uh, uh, did you ever try one of these packages? I mean, get it in the mail or buy the money, and, and what did it look like when you got these things? Uh, nothing. Oh well, mostly they they were things. Actually, two of the three things, because I work on a Mac, okay, right. and um, so a couple of things I couldn't even open because they're I see, was a Mac. only made for Windows, right? Uh huh. So they they weren't even smart enough to warn you ahead of time that <laughs> may not work on a Windows. I mean, on a Mac. Right. And and they they never tell you. Yeah, they they don't they don't tell you anything. I I've, I've actually tried calling. Let me see if I can center myself somehow. So. Yeah, well, that's a little better. I mean, I've actually tried getting in touch with some of these guys to say, listen, why don't you just say, tell us what the upsell is. You know, tell us everything that we need to know. Because what you have to do is you have to buy a website. Oh, you have to buy a website. I see. Yeah, so you have to have a website. And you have to have a domain name for the website, uh -huh. and you have to have you have to buy domain hosting, mm -hmm. hosting for the website. So all that's so if you go back to that other example I was giving you before, you know where I was up to four four hundred twenty dollars, and right. I buy a website, you know a, a domain name, you know what ten fifteen dollars, and then hosting. Could be a hundred dollars a year or two hundred right. dollars for two years, and they they push you to do two hundred dollars for two years. So now we're up to like six hundred dollars, uh -huh. and they say they're going to give you a free website, and the web free website is the cheesiest freaking thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> and it's just like one guy is worse than the other. I mean, there's a guy named Steve Iser. There was a guy by the name of, of uh, Adam Horowitz, okay, in California, uh -huh. who actually came out with this. What appeared to be a great idea. Um, uh, he showed like he was he was shooting it live, so you knew he, he spent some money, right? So he was shooting it live in L.A., and you could see the Hollywood Bowl on one side, mm. and then on the other side you could see the the Hollywood sign. Now I've never really been, I haven't been to L.A. in a while, so I don't even know if there's a it's spot where you can see both, but. Yeah. <laughs> He uh, was on a set with the you know, blue screens or whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Green screen and something. Something was going to blow up. So he says, wouldn't it be great? And he, they catch your attention because this guy said, wouldn't it be amazing if you could text all those people sitting in the Hollywood Bowl? Now, clearly, they all have something in common. They all like going to concerts, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could figure out and then he pants, the, you know, if you could get all the, the you know, 10,000 people in the Hollywood Bowl or 50,000, whatever it is, right, and be able to text them. Now, he doesn't tell you how to get their email, their cell phone number. <laughs> Do you feel that there's any uh, value in, in what they're selling at all? No, absolutely not. It's 100% it's scam. Uh -huh. And as a matter of fact, um, it, if you re if you want to record this, I, I would put this out as a challenge. That if any of these guys, this Mike Diller, this Steve Eiser, this Jim uh -huh. Lewis, this this uh, uh, George Brown in the, in the UK, um, if anybody 
can, can you know, make me a website, make me a million dollars, I'll split it with you. <laughs> oh, there's a good offer. <laughs> you take a third, I'll take a third, and we'll give him a third. Yeah. How about getting your money back when you would try to get the back from these people? Well, they say you get it back, but I have yet to see it back in my uh, bank account. Oh, really? And how many how many are you waiting for back now? Uh, including the upsells, at least a half a dozen. Really? Wow. And they, say that that they say that they've sent it back, but it's at least like five hundred dollars worth that they haven't. Wow. You know, put uh, yeah. So there's about a half a dozen uh, uh, products that you order like this that you return and you're waiting to get back. Yeah. Right. So yeah. my my suggestion to to any of your viewers would be don't even start with this thing. And anytime yeah. you see uh, a, a, a bunch of letters on an email, like on the bottom of the email, um, and it says like A Weber, to blah 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 blah, you know, a couple of question marks, a couple of um, you know, exclamation point, whatever it is. Or get response. Those are the two companies mostly that gather up your uh, list. See. You know, don't mm -hmm. respond to it. Just yeah. they they tell you you know you can hit unsubscribe and they don't they can't write back to you. Google yeah. doesn't let them or whoever mm -hmm. you know. Well, that's you know especially in this economy like you got you know sucked in and this economy it's hard. You know you can understand the you know the hucksters out there you know uh, are. Are promising a lot of hope and we're looking for hope you know and I guess that's how we get sucked into these things well that's that's the problem yeah and and the economy just literally does not seem like it's getting any better yeah and and it gets harder and harder to find work and it gets harder and harder to find mm -hmm. um, a way to supplement your income so you're kind of you know you're tempted to, to you know be suckered in by these guys and and uh, they make it really, you know, uh, entertaining, and they. Right. they <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't understand why they do that. <laughs> right. There's only there's a couple that basically say, you know, if you're not, they, you know, they, they, they like basically challenge your manhood. Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> Every single person on this thing is a white Caucasian. Oh, that's interesting. Twenty-something-year-old. Wow. Every single one. Now, if someone uh, wanted to be smart, marketer, first of all, there's no females except uh, for that one hooker. If someone wanted to be smart, they would hire a female actress, yeah. right, to do that, or some woman should do it, right. or some black guy, right, or some middle-aged guy, right, like exactly. you or me. Uh, right. You know, but uh, it's totally a scam. Where these guys are proud to say they're they're. They're high school dropouts, right. and and you know why bother going to college? You know it's all about money, and it's and right. you know maybe listen as a child of uh, you know Vietnam War protesters, you know we were taught to think that money <laughs> money was you know, the root of all evil, you know. <laughs> but, uh, well, I mean, I sort of see it. You know, I mean, we have a culture, sort of like diet books, and even you know, unfortunately, I fall in that genre sometimes too that put me people put me in there that you know I'm promising something or whatever that's why to me I, I, you know, I just want to bare minimum price you know, and, and try to educate people but it is you know like it, everything requires work you know and yeah you know, the selling part is trying to make <laughs> you believe that it's so easy like a diet you know I mean just think of how much we spend on diet books and we're all still fat <laughs> That's one of the things. I see both of us are actually thin, but uh, they tell you, yeah, yeah. They, what what these things basically are are ways to sucker other people to buy things like weight loss products. Uh -huh. There's a whole company out there called ClickBank. All okay? right. Oh, I see. So you're starting a business selling other people's stuff. Exactly, selling I other see. people's products. Like, I think they call it OPP. Or, uh, uh, other people's you know. products or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and, uh, and then um, there's certain words. And the basic thing is to get ranked on Google. So right. they, want you, they want you to be highest ranked on Google. So right. what they do is they have Google keywords and then they have all kinds of things like called pay per click and pay right. per view, which means that anytime someone clicks on it, right. you get paid, but you have, to, you, uh, you have to pay for it every time they get clicked. 
So if someone clicks on your on your site and doesn't find it, then you've lost money. Right. Yeah, so I mean, they're all you're going to have to spend more money. That's why, to me, I think for a hundred bucks you could start any one of those businesses today yourself. And, and but but find a product that you believe in and is real. Yeah, right. If you were a 22-year-old high school dropout that did nothing but this, and, and then they, they, they swear that there are some really actually funny ones. Like there's one that guy says, um, I was a, uh, a, a hacker. You know, they proud of themselves uh, as being hackers. Last time I, I thought, you know, hackers, it was illegal to hack into other people's right. computers. Right? <laughs> you know, but they were really proud of this. So, but even as a, you know, code hacker, you know, they even know these words. Right. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't know anything until I found the brotherhood. I right? see. And you can break the law too. <laughs> exactly. You can, but you know, this has to be a secret between you, me, and the Brotherhood. Now, mind you, you're on this list of like a half a million other people that are getting this exact same thing, and but they make it like just you and them. And then the bottom line is, even once you buy it, you can't get in touch with them. Uh, like I've actually never heard from the you know the main guys. You know, but, so the whole thing is an unbelievable astronomical scam. Uh, that you know, it's got to remind you know. It just reminds me of that you know, you know. Stuff, this could only probably happen. This probably, something similar to this happened, I'm sure, during the Depression, yeah. or even you know, in the uh, 1800s. Or you know, go west, young man, to find gold. You know, <laughs> and you get, you get move exactly. all the families out. You know, with a pick. You know, to try right. to find gold. And sell, you, that's why you sell jeans instead of look for gold. Yeah. Well, I think, it, particularly if you don't get your money, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll get you a list of who to file with in every state these people are in. Because that, to me, you know, you're not going to hire a lawyer to chase them because it's, you know, it's going to cost you more to do that. But to me, it's like getting paper into the system about them doing it so other people, when they check, could see that these guys don't, you know, do what they say or, or promise you a refund and don't do it. Uh, and that's why I always file with the Attorney General and things like that uh, to make sure there's paper on the, the, these people. Uh, but I, I hope, Doug, that this you know, will help folks and, and help them think twice about doing anything.